Hello friends. Today I would like to show you the difference between variegated adenium and albino adenium. This is how variegated leaf of adenium looks. Even though some parts are completely white, they leaf because they get energy from chlorophyll created on a different part of the leaf. And this is a twig that is completely albino. If it won't start to shoot leaves that have some greenery in it soon, this little twig might die. It lives happily for a long time, you see how many leaves it already grew because it has a pipeline, nutrients created from its neighbor twigs. Much worse is when it happens to a sprout. Let me show you. Okay, here we have a sprouted seeds, seedlings of adenium, some of which are complete albino, completely white sprouting leaves and kind of reddish, pinkish, orangish stems. These kind of plants cannot live. In few weeks they die. Here is one that's already on its way, unfortunately. It is possible to take such a sprout and graft it on a denium rootstock and if the graft catches, succeeds, it lives a little longer because it gets nutrient from a rootstock and then if following leaves produce a uh, variegated uh, variegation, then that green part of variegated leaf would give it life and voila, you would have a new cultivar. Hopefully very decorative, variegated some other way than any known before. Forever named after you or your loved one, whatever you want. Well, I tried that two, three times, and uh, each time I did succeed in grafting, the new leaves uh, weren't albino or variegated, but complete green. And it just kept being green. and. So I just kind of gave up on it. I have other things to do, unfortunately, but somebody is doing it once in a while because when I check in Google under variegated adenium, every half a year or so, I see new and new way variegated leaves or same way like known before, but with new kind of flowers. Not necessarily most common pink with single layer of five petals. Let me show you. Here is a variegated adenium that just few years ago, this is the type that I would call it stained glass kind. Because there are kind that are like dotty, patchy, 
or yellow leaves instead of white green yellow green or there are the kind that it's not white part but reddish part anyway this one this type I call stained glass design and few years back it existed only with single petal single row of petals uh, pink and here look at this it's like a rose double petal triple petal unfortunately in this rainy day I don't see any of them fully open but you see very beautiful okay so that's all I was going to tell you in this video about the difference between regular leaf variegated leaf albino leaf and trials and tribulation of albino sprouts oh and uh, one more thing I would like to add is that as a rule the variegation of a plant is not inheritable to offspring through pollination by using pollen a variegated plant it is only uh, inheritable from the mother plant but in case of adenium specifically by using the stigma the mother plant of a, a variegated plant all you get is hundred percent of seedlings albino so there isn't possible like it is possible in some other species to create a variegated plants and possibly new cultivars of variegated plants by using a stigma of a flower from variegated adenium. All you get is albinos who due to lack of chlorophyll don't survive more than about two weeks. And on this not so positive note, I'd say goodbye my friends. Goodbye fellow gardeners, fellow adenium growers, fellow hybridizers. <laughs>